everyone and welcome back to my heavenly babies and welcome back to baby talk tuesday let's talk baby with baby noah my beautiful little boy here i've shared him many times with you guys this is in you know my collection this is one of my babies and i um, just love to do these videos and share them with you guys uh for baby talk tuesday today he gave us a lot to talk about we have a nice stinky diaper to change <laughs> Uh, but he just ate a little while ago, so he's pretty out of it right now. But yeah, he gave mommy a surprise. Uh, we're going to be changing him into a cute little outfit today and just talk about him and yeah, share the word. So let's start with the word. We got the powerful prayers for every need. Today we are on Holy Spirit. The Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I have said to you. John 14, 26. Dear Jesus, thank you for giving all of yourself to us. We have experienced the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. The love you, um, the love you as the Father have poured out on us. Despite our unworthiness and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, who is with us every minute of every day. Your constant presence in our life is more than we can comprehend. Amen. 2 Corinthians 13, 14. And that's true. You know, the advocate means your best friend. The Holy Spirit is here as our best friend, was left behind when Jesus descended to heaven after he rose from the dead um, and finally descended to heaven, sits at the right hand of his father. Um, the Holy Spirit was left behind to teach us um, and, you know, to remind us of everything. And just be here with us. And you know, the Holy Spirit, God, and Jesus are all one entity. But they are three separate entities, too, if you understand that. Um, but yeah, the Holy Spirit was left behind for us. Definitely pray for the Holy Spirit to be in your heart. Be with you always. And be always teaching you everything that Jesus taught while he walked this earth. So we, you know, we'll live our life as, you know, Christ-like as we can. You know, as God wants us to do. God, the culture will live in, live in, try, or God. The culture we live in tries to convince us that our bodies are our own. But in reality, our bodies are subject to many things, few of which we have any control over. For that reason, Lord, I give myself to you. Help me to comprehend that my body is a temple of your Holy Spirit, whom I have received from you and who lives within me. Remind me daily that I have been brought with pe I have been bought with a price. Amen. 1 Corinthians 6:19. See what they're saying? That he gave us the Holy Spirit to live within us. Um, you know, and it says there, help me to comprehend that the body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. So we need to be reminded of that. And it's just great to know that the Holy Spirit's always there with us. Father, your Holy Spirit is great and powerful. He is your presence living inside of me, helping me to do my best and encouraging, instructing, and inspiring me to become the person you created me to be. I can't imagine my life without his presence. I pray, Lord, that you would never cast me out of your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me, for I am completely dependent on you for all things. Amen. Psalm 111. Boy, you know, isn't that true? Like, we, we want to pray for that, for the Holy Spirit never to leave us. And if we're not living our life right, the Holy Spirit definitely is not there. Holy Spirit is not going to be where there is evil. Definitely not going to be there. So we need to be kind, loving, be as Christ-like as we can because the Holy Spirit lives within us and we don't want to corrupt because when we're, you know, being corruptive and we're just not being that that Christian we're supposed to be, living our life right, and especially if you don't even believe in God, the Holy Spirit is not living within you and will not be there. But the Holy Spirit will always be with you if you're walking right with Christ and, you know, living your life right and everything. We've got the Holy Spirit there, our best friend is always there with us to help us get through trials and tribulation, hard times in our life, easy times in our life, fun times in our life. No matter what, the Holy Spirit's always there. So let's just live right because he's not going to be there if we're not living right. Come fill me, Holy Spirit. I want more and more of you. Amen. And boy, I surely do. I surely want more of the Holy Spirit. I want more. I want to learn and grow each and every day. We're all here for a reason. We're, you know, God has a perfect purpose and plan for us being here. So always take it out. And, you know, be as, like I always say, be as Christ-like as possible. And, you know, just remember that we're here for a reason. And it's important for us to, you know, spread the good word. I love reading this because it helps me to learn and grow. But I hope it saves a soul because it is our job to do that. So I hope you guys enjoyed those verses on the Holy Spirit. And always remember to start your day, go through your day, and end your day with Life's Manual, the Holy Bible. Read it, study it, and get a great personal relationship with Jesus. 
And remember that the Holy Spirit is there with you. You can talk to God at any time of the day, anytime you want to. Talk to him. He wants to hear from you. He definitely wants to hear from you. And then read this book from front to cover and start over again and again and again and continue to read his word. And love it, honor it, obey it, and live by it. Don't just read it, but live by this word because this is how we're supposed to live. There is, like I always say, no dictionary, no uh, social media online. Nothing will ever teach you more than the word because you can let every man, like it says, let every man be a liar. So that means women too. Let every man, let every woman be a liar. But the Bible is the truth. His word is the truth, so live by that. Live by that. Be holy, be righteous. Be kind, be loving, be gentle to people, you know, and, and be that Christian we're supposed to be. And let it shine through, like I said in my last video for Monday. Let it shine through you. Let others see how you, you know, truly walk the Christianity through you because they're going to see that and want what you have. Have you ever seen the movie Fireproof? Um, at the end, when he gave his life completely over to Christ and his wife saw something different, uh, she said, I want I want what, you know, you're just different. I want what you, what you have. And he goes, you can. So that was just great, you know, that he also brought his wife more to the Lord as well. So that's great, you know, and that's what we want to do. We want to help people and they can see it through us. All right. I hope you enjoyed those verses. And now we're going to get on to this stinky butt here who left mommy a surprise. We're going to change him. We're going to change him into this outfit today. Last week we did this cute one, a special delivery. This one here says wild about mommy and mommy's wild about you little stink butt, even though you left me a package <laughs> before it was a special delivery and you left the special delivery now. So we're going to put him on this. It is uh, white and gray stripe. It's a dark gray stripe going, um, you know, across. And then in black, it says Wild About Mommy, and it's just a onesie. And it's a premature one. Yep, it's a premature. It's a Carter's. And I got this. Um, I got a box of stuff off of Facebook Market for, pre you know, for preemies, for boys. So this is great for him. It's also for um, Chester, my little old man baby. I share those with these two. I'm going to do a little black hat on him because he's my bald baby right now. I am going to give him hair, but right now I'm not bald. So we're going to give him the hat and the black socks this time because he's barefoot right now. But we're going to give him little socks today. And then this gray nook we're going to give him. Don't have the nook in right now. He's pretty happy right now. He is a nook baby, but he's pretty happy right now. He's pretty content. I filled his belly up. so And then he filled his diaper up. <laughs> I filled his belly. He filled his diaper for me. I gave him something. He gave me something. Well, thank you, little man. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. If you hear anything, we got some people outside here. I live in a little neighborhood here, and we got some people outside talking. So, uh, but anyways, we're gonna go ahead and change this, and hopefully, uh, we'll just have to put a little, um, a little emoji over the little boy parts because this is, you know, a baby that is atomically correct, so he does have the little parts. And this is, you know, my baby in my collection again, not one that I'm selling, uh, but I will eventually buy this exact baby paint it and have it up for sale. Don't know when I will, but I'm going to be buying all the babies that are in my collection, be painting them and selling them. So, and I'm going to have one up soon here for you guys. One of the ones out of my, you know, one that's in my collection, but that I bought, but it's one of the ones that you guys really love. And it's a girl this time. It's going to be a girl and I will have it up for sale here probably within a week or so, hopefully. Um, and it's one that you guys really comment a lot about. So be watching for that. I'll be putting it up for sale. Um, that one's going to be three fifty dollars because I'm doing a lot to that one. And it was more to buy that one. They're getting more expensive now, you guys, to buy. So, all right, let's see the little surprise that, uh, yeah, you see that, guys? <laughs> Look at what he left me. Seriously, little boy. Thanks a lot. Boy, I'm just so happy to have had this nice surprise from you. So now we're going to do an emoji over his little package. <laughs> and I'm going to clean up his package. Oh, yes. Wonderful, little boy. Thank you. Let's hope we don't wake him. Though. Let's hope we don't wake him. Because usually when we're cleaning these babies, that's when they wake up and they cry. Because, you know, they're being messed with and they just want to sleep and you know what i should be the one crying not you why are you gonna be crying right <laughs> not crying yet but i can uh, he's kind of waking up yeah he's like i don't want any more yep there it goes i knew it i know i know hang on noah give me just a second to clean you you're all icky mommy needs to clean you off buddy i know i know and i can't give you your nook now because my hands are full. He gave me a full package here. Yeah, he gave me a full package. A full package. Yeah. He gave me a loaded diaper. Yes, little guy. 
I know, I know, I'm almost done. Almost done. Almost done. There we go, you guys. Nice and clean. Let's get the diaper on him. Yeah, he's happy. Yeah, he just wanted to be happy. Now. Nope, he's not happy yet, you guys. Thought for a second there we had a happy little guy, but no. So we'll get his little diaper on him quickly. It's okay. Yeah, he's got it. He just didn't want that. He didn't want to deal with that. I guess he just wanted that in there. I guess he just wanted to leave that in there and he wanted me to leave him alone. <laughs> All right, we can go ahead and just change him. I'm not going to give him enough right now because he's okay, but he's probably going to cry more again. <coughs> yeah, let's just give him enough. Let me get it. Okay, way. There you go, buddy. There you go. Look, on mommy's finger. Now he'll be happy. He just wanted his nook. I got to push that in there a little farther. You're kind of pushing it out, bud. <laughs> You're pushing that out. There. Yeah, let's get this little outfit off of you. Because we don't want to make you mad. Say, I was sleeping so good, Mom, and then you got to come in and ruin everything, right? I just ruin everything. Put your nook in a little bit. Yeah, does mommy ruin everything? I know. Say, it's my fault you pooped, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's my fault you pooped. Yeah, because I fed you. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't feed you anymore. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't feed you anymore. Remember when working with babies, um, especially that are unpainted, once I paint him, he won't be sticky. He's sticky right now. I was going to powder him, but it still kind of felt soft enough from the pen before, but I'm, I can tell he's not. He's still sticky. That's why I'm so happy to do these babies for you guys, to get them and paint them for you. Because if you order them and, you know, get them, you're going to constantly have to powder them. Then there's a chance of also ruining the baby, too. Because if you're, you know, having to tug on the clothes like that or, you know, um, obviously powdering them constantly, you know, it's it just rubs right off. It doesn't stay. And then when I seal them, I seal them with the silicone velvet. Oh, is this cute? I don't know. Um, when I seal, seal it with that, then you don't even have to powder them. And I don't even know how long it lasts, but so far it's been lasting and lasting on my babies here. So I just can't wait to get um, this one painted. I just have so many that I'm working on and trying to make ones for you guys. But you get, you know, a budget baby at a good cost. You know, I've got to buy the baby first and then I'm going to paint it and do things to it and everything for you guys. And then, um, and still sell it at a really good price, you know, for you guys or whatever. And then you don't have to worry about it. You're going to get it home. It's going to be painted. It's going to look more lifelike. And all of that, you know, and also won't be sticky or anything for you. So I do all the work for you. If, you know, especially if somebody doesn't know how. Oh, that's cute. Um, you know, if you guys don't know how to do it or whatever, then I'm doing all the work for you guys, giving you a baby that's all painted and everything, but at a really good affordable price. Because my babies will range between um, like uh, 199 to, you know, 399 will be the, uh, the, the most. But right now I'm trying to keep them around uh, the 199 to um, uh, 350 at the most right now, depending on what I'm paying for these babies. It's, a lot of them are more expensive now, and they're charging for the shipping now. They didn't used to charge for the shipping, but now they are because they're coming out of China, so they're charging for that now. And so I'm gonna roll these down just so they're not. They look cute on them long like that, but um, yeah, maybe I will leave them up because they actually look cute up like that. Um, but they're charging for it now because they, everybody's requesting flappy babies and they're more flappier because you're not guaranteed to get a flappy if you order within the United States. But if you, if they have it come out and you request for that, um, it's coming then directly from China. So they're charging an extra $55, $65 per baby just for the shipping and then the tax. And before they didn't do that, they only just charged for the tax, you know? Oh, does he look cute? Adorable. Wild about mommy and I'm wild about you. You're one of my favorite little guys. They're all my favorite. Um, but yeah, so they're more expensive. So I do have to add a little bit. Plus my work, you know, it does take me time to paint one, to seal one. I'm using very expensive products. I use the Fuse FX products for the sealant. I use the silicone velvet. You can look all that up. It's very expensive. 
Um, and I have to buy, you know, bigger amounts because I'm doing more babies and, um, you know, just to do each one my time and all of that. And now that I'm, you know, doing the drawing of the hair and all that, you'll get babies with hair, sometimes with combo hair, depending on what I'm doing. So, of course, I have to charge a little bit more. But nothing will ever be over $3.99. That'll be the most I'll ever charge. And that'll be like if I paid for a baby that was, you know, like over, you know, $250. Obviously, I've got to charge $3.99 because I've got to make something off of it a little bit from all my work, you know. But, yeah, it's budget babies. That still is a wonderful price, and they'll be beautiful, and you guys will really be happy with them. So far, the ones I've sold, the people are very happy with them, very, very happy with them. So, all right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video with this stinky butt here for Baby Talk Tuesday. He gave Mommy some stink, but we got it cleaned up, and he looks absolutely adorable and ready for the day and ready to just sleep, right? Eat, sleep. What is it? Eat, poop, and sleep. That's all you do, little man. Yeah, my sweet little boy, my sweet little Noah. I always call him Baby Noah. He's my sweet little baby. Baby boy. Love him. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and enjoyed the verses on Holy Spirit. Remember to uh, get your life right and have that Holy Spirit in your heart. He'll be there with you always. And remember to be uh, you know, very kind to everyone and loving and walk away from fights and you know, let God deal with it. Um, if you have enemies, let God deal with it. Don't take it upon yourself. Pray for them. And just be kind, you know, be kind and loving and let God deal with it because he will. God will take care of it. But don't wish any harm upon anybody. Just, you know, live your life to the fullest and praise his word, spread his word, spread his word to everybody. All right, Noah, let's blow everyone a kiss. Mwah. Yeah, say love auntie, uncles, grandma, and grandpas. And we will see all of you guys in the video or in our uh, Wear It Wednesday video tomorrow. Everybody take care and God bless.